up, it's Louise. And Treacle. She's being really cute in the chair, so I thought I would come and sit next to her. You can give her like two strokes and then that's your limit. She's being really cute. Are you, sweetheart? No, she's being really ugly. So, I feel like I look like very summery today. I feel like the farmer's daughter that needs to move out because she's nearly 30. Also, I'm full of cold, so that's why my voice sounds weird. Excuse that, we'll uh, we'll just, we'll work through it, we'll work through it. Today, I have a couple of bits in these tote bags and then something that's on the floor here to show you that I picked up at our local yard sale. So in my area, they do like a yard sale, which is just like a car boot at the front of people's houses. Uh, it's just about twice a year. And I always go for a mose, but I never really pick anything up because a lot of the stuff is for like young children because there's a lot of like families and like yummy mummies in my area. <laughs> so they'll just be getting rid of like really good stuff for like little kids. But as I do not have a little kid and I'm not planning on having a little kid, I never really looked at it and I never used to get a lot for myself but this time I got a pretty good haul it was quite a good day this time it was like a different vibe on this one I don't know it just felt it felt different I also met a chihuahua and that really just perked me up it was just a little like sweet potato sized little deliciousness and I met some good cats as well while I was mooching so I'll show you what I got Trico you're gonna be nice let me get her little beans just grooming herself. I don't like when she does that. It's a very uncouth young lady. She doesn't care. So I'll show you what I picked up from the yard sale. Yeah some of the stuff like some of the people they're selling stuff and it's like do you think that's gonna sell? Like one person was selling like a Windows 98 CD ROM of like greeting cards maker <laughs> something like that. Try to sell that for three quid. Like, girly, no one's gonna buy that for three pounds. Throw it in the bin. I know I'm all for like reduce, reuse, recycle, repurpose, but not no operating system is gonna work with that CD. Anyway, yeah, some of the people will be like, well, I paid forty pounds for this, so it's still worth forty pounds now. No, it isn't. But the most of the people, they just thought I want to get rid of the stuff and they sell it for dead cheap, which I love. The first purchase. My partner actually picked up because they have um, like a flight of fans there. They've had it for a couple months of what if I start doing pull-ups. Um, so we were looking for a pull-up bar and they were gonna buy one first hand, but we found this one for five pounds. Um, this is really boring and it's a pull-up bar. And also um, when I just picked it up at the spare room, I realized it doesn't fit on any of our doors because uh, our doors have all got like a weird frame around them. So it doesn't fit on any of our doors, so we can't even use it anyway. So, five pound wasted. Hopefully, it'll fit on the doors of our new house. Fingers crossed that we get the new house. But yeah, it doesn't fit on our doors. Um, it's too big. <laughs> I know, I think you can like rearrange it, but like not by much. It's too big like width wise. I don't know, it doesn't fit on our weird doors in our like 1960s house, so. Boo, but yeah, that. I didn't buy that. Why would I buy that? That's pointless. <laughs> I got... Hey! Oh, these are adorable. So, I said like I don't care about baby stuff, but let me come, I'll come a bit closer. So, my uh, sister had a baby a couple months ago and we've recently got back in touch. And uh, I just want to be the cool aunt here, so I picked these up for the baby. These little vans. And these are brand spanking new, never worn. And they have little like beach cats on them. Tell me they aren't the cutest things you've ever seen. And yet yeah, never been worn. So pick those up for baby. And they were a fiver, which I think a very good deal for. Brand spanking new pair of vans. They're so cute. They're so cute, so tiny. This is small. Could you wear them, peepee? -pee? No. Okay, whatever. Yeah, very cute. I love them. And from the same... So let me rearrange myself. From the same cellar. She also had a big rack of clothes. 
and I picked up this new look jumpsuit. Mm -mm -mm. I love a good jumpsuit. So it's just like polka dot crinkly material, wide legged. I haven't tried this on yet, so I will try it on. You staring? I'll try it on shortly, and uh, that'll be my first real reaction to it. See if it actually fits. I hope it does. It should do, but I'll try it on, and that'll be fun. Set. <gasps> Trickle's really engrossed in whatever I'm doing. Hey, doll. Really nice. This is really good. These two are from uh, one person who, for some reason, had a lot of Franz Ferdinand merch. You remember Franz Ferdinand, the indie band? So, <laughs> uh, we were like, why do you have so much Franz Ferdinand merch? And she said, oh yeah, I used to work for them. And I think she was a drum teacher now, so probably something in the capacity of drums. It's like, that's pretty cool. And this was three quid there's some like really weird stuff as well like Franz Ferdinand little like booty shorts and like underwear why would you make that as merch that's really weird but yeah I thought this scarf is so cool I'm an indie kid at heart and I always will be and yeah from the same woman I also picked up god this is cream pie still in the packaging uh <laughs> Franz Ferdinand tote bag and it appears to have been made in Japan. It's got like a little Japanese thing in it. I'm like, I wonder if they were big in Japan. Probably. Let me unbox it. Oh damn, that's a good tote bag. That's big. It's a big tote bag. See, it's got so much room inside for stuff. Ooh. Oh dang, that's a good tote bag actually. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ew. So yeah, catch me at like farmer's market slash charity shop with my giant Franz Ferdinand tote bag. That's so, like, that's really cool. I mean, if you like uh, mid noughties indie music, you'll be like, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> I think it's cool. I love a good tote bag, but like big tote bags, my favorite. And like the scarf. I love a football scarf as band merch and no one else does it. Cowards, make more scarves. My neck gets cold. Now I don't have any hair. All right, Treacle. She's right. I'm spending a lot of time interacting with Treacle in this video and I love it. Last thing I got. Oh, did I say the tote bag? Four pounds. Bargain. So, I got some bedding, naturally. This is double-sided. Has this big check pattern on the one side, yellow and orange. And this smaller check pattern on the other side, orange and yellow. It is a big double duvet and comes with two pillowcases. And I'm gonna make myself some trousers out of it. Um, probably out of this side because I love like a big window pane check. Uh, and I was saying when I was buying it, like, yeah, I'll probably make it in some trousers. And the woman on the like the stall was like, oh, that's a really smart idea. I wish I was skilled enough to do that. Like, I am not skilled at all, and I can bang out a pair of trousers that easy. I was gonna say big style, and I'm like, no, not big style. That's not what I want to say. I don't know. <laughs> So yes, a very nice duvet cover. I stick that in the wash. I just love like, mm, yeah, the big window pane check. Love that. I think this is nice. And it is a lot of fabric for three pounds. Yes, I'm gonna stick it in the wash and then make some trousers out of it. So stay tuned for some trousers in the future. <laughs> right, that was my haul. Did I say these were three pounds? I don't know, my memory's shot. This was three pounds. And that's a lot of material for three quid. So that was my haul. I hope you enjoyed. I need to try on that jumpsuit, see if it fits. Fingers crossed. You'll find out before I do. No, you won't. I'll find out before you do. Goodbye, guys.